let me talk about the physicality of the role and, and connect some dots. And you tell me if it's appropriate or inappropriate to connect these dots with this event that was much publicized with you last February. Oh, you're that one? Well, you're in Australia and you got detained because of you were in possession of human growth hormones mm. against the law in Australia. You said it's a medical condition. The cynics are going to say you had those things because you're off going to shoot Rambo mm -hmm. and you wanted to be pumped for the role. It's not pumped. See, what people don't understand about uh, HGH, it's an amino acid. A long time ago, people didn't understand what they were talking about, so they just lumped everything. It's like saying aspirin is also a painkiller, but same as so, but so is Percodan, but you can't put them in the same family. So the, it's really archaic the way people perceive HGH. It's, not, it's amino acids, 191 of At them. At this stage of your career, though, would you do something like that to, you know, artificial to get yourself in the kind it's, of physical shape you to appear in get, the role? You cannot, and I only wish it was true, you could just take something like that and you're in shape. It, you have to put in years and years and years of hard labor to stay in shape. This is, it enhances. The most important thing about HGH, and I think a lot of people should really be aware of it, is it takes off the wear and tear, the, especially if you're an athlete, to the amount of beating that your body takes, mm -hmm. the power to recuperate is very, very limited. So all it does is expedite. People think that it change, if that was the case, everyone would be a superhuman being. I got 10 seconds left. You're going to be back with more Rambo? As a matter of fact, you're looking kind of physical myself. So I, I like to do, I'm doing a blood test on you immediately after the show. Weren't you with me in Australia? You were sitting beside me. We're back in a moment.